Rabbi David Feldman, please. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Unfortunately, we are standing here on the streets of Boston in a very sad moment after weeks of people being killed, slaughtered, innocent men, women and children, buildings bound to the ground, including hospitals and schools. This is sad. This is a catastrophe, and this is criminal! We need to stand up, we need to speak up, and we need to raise the awareness and stop this occupation and stop this killing and murder. And I have to say, as a Jewish person, we have to remember that these crimes are not supported by world Jewry and certainly not condoned by Jewish religion. This occupation of Palestine didn't start just a couple of weeks ago. This started decades back and this is totally forbidden according to Jewish teachings. According to Judaism, we are in exile, we are forbidden to go up and master the Holy Land, we are forbidden to rebel against any nation, and certainly we are forbidden to kill or to steal. This is criminal and this is a violation of Jewish law as well. No wonder that no Jewish scholar ever came up with this idea of Zionism before this heretic secular people, Theodor Herzl and his friends, just because this is contrary to Judaism. No wonder that the Jewish leadership in Jerusalem, at the very beginning of the State of Israel, opposed the State of Israel. And certainly we see today, unfortunately, these tragedies, this catastrophe, this Nakba, that this has brought not only to Palestine, but also to the Jewish people. Unfortunately, the State of Israel is a danger for Palestine, it's a catastrophe for Palestine and a danger for the Jewish people. As human beings, we should think about our lives, about the lives of our children. None of us would like to see our families in this situation that people are facing in Gaza. We should understand that this is bad. As human beings, we should stand up and speak against this and stop this. And as Jewish people, we say that we are sad, we are embarrassed, since this is supposedly being done in our name, this violation against Judaism, this violation against international law, and unfortunately a catastrophe for an entire people. whether Israel has the right to defend itself. The simple answer is they have no right to this occupation from the very beginning. This is, this is causing death and destruction to all peoples involved. And we hope and we pray for the speedy dismantlement of this political movement this political movement which is the cause to the conflict. We Jewish people and Muslims lived in Palestine. We lived in other Muslim We lived in peace. We respected each other. We protected each other. And there is no reason to think and believe that people of different religions cannot exist. We have, we have an example of the past history. We should use this example to direct us to the better future. We hope that this political movement will stop. We pray and we hope that this should stop peacefully with no more suffering of anyone 
of any peoples in the region, of anyone involved. And we hope and we pray ultimately that the glory of the Almighty should be revealed throughout the universe when all mankind will form one bond to serve the one God in peace and harmony. Amen. Thank you very much.